Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Ariel Rapa and I upload videos about me and about jigsaw puzzles every Tuesday 6 p.m. Philippine Standard Time. So if you are into that, make sure to click that subscribe button down below because I'm here for you every Tuesday. today's video guys i'm gonna be doing another jigsaw puzzle review and today i am doing the raven's burger puzzle the exact puzzle this is a 759 pieces jigsaw puzzle and it says in the box that it is difficulty level 3 so before i open the box i'm just gonna read first the concept or like the theme of this puzzle exit this puzzle is the exit the puzzle um the escape room concept is not available as a raven's burger puzzle it's up to you to put the puzzle together, find the mysteries, and solve them all. Will you, able, will you be able to solve all of the mysteries and find the last puzzle piece? A mysterious illustration plunges puzzlers and players into a mystifying world where it is all about finding the escape. The box contains a puzzle with perplexing pieces, one set of instructions, and an envelope with the answer. Uh, so... Anyway, here is the box if you want to see it. Here is the front cover and then the side, side, and side. I am just really sorry. I am really excited to do this one because first of all this is a like the concept is escape room and I'm really really excited to do one. Another reason why I'm excited is this is actually my first time doing a Ravens Burger puzzle and I have heard a lot of good things about this jigsaw puzzle brand like they are just like the god of all the jigsaw puzzle brands so i just want to know why because there are just a lot of people saying that this jigsaw puzzle brand does really have a really good quality so i'm just really excited about this one so anyway let's just open the box so there are the puzzle pieces then here is our envelope for the answer and here is the story, I guess. This is the story. Okay, this is not in English. Okay. Well, let me just read. Dragon Laboratory. Ever since you were a child, you have been passionate about the science of drag dragonology. When you discovered that a distant relative of yours is an expert in the field and that his research laboratory is very nearby, Nothing can hold you back and you set off to visit him. When you get to the Dragon Laboratory, you are almost over overcome by all of the treasures and artifacts that your great uncle has collected. But he is nowhere to be found. When you examine his desk, you find an open journal. There is an entry in shaky handwriting. I have made a terrible mistake. It must have happened when I took the relic from temple in Guatemala and brought it to my laboratory. Somehow, I activated its magic powers. I know the ancient legends. It's probably already on the way here. It will destroy all of my work and I'm sure it won't spare me, either. If only I knew to, how to break the magic spell, that would certainly... That, that, that. The text ended in mid-sentence. Suddenly you hear a sound so close to you that it makes your heart skip a bit. Was that hissing? When you cautiously look up from the, from the desk, all you can do is gasp. You are looking directly into the eyes of a dragon, a real, live, scary dragon. The legendary guardian of the stolen artifact has arrived. It's too late to run away. So the question is, where is this cursed magic relic and you can break its spell in time? Okay, so we have to look for the magic relic. Time to start. Now it is time to put the puzzle together and watch your image emerge. The rectangular pieces in the bag not part of the puzzle and can be discarded. When you have finished, look for the mysteries and hidden clues to figure out your escape. Best of luck. What? The rectangular pieces in the bag are not a part of the puzzle and can be discarded. So like there are... Six mysteries are hidden within the puzzle for you to solve. Tip for finding the answer, pay attention to the edges. If you get stuck, you can help you can find help here. So there is a QR code. 
because for, if ever I need a help, why do I need a help for this one? Is this so hard? Is this hard? I don't know. Oh my god, this is this may be hard. Okay. Anyway, so this is not the actual design of the puzzle. <sighs> okay. I don't know. Like this is this might be hard. This might be harder than I expected. Anyway, I'm just going to open now the plastic bag containing the puzzle pieces. I guess this are the puzzle pieces that are not included I don't know like there are pieces that are like this I think these are the pieces that they were referring that are not included in the puzzle so I'm just gonna put it here and they do actually really have a good quality though like the pieces are very sturdy and the, the printing is just very clear look at that and the puzzle pieces are very sturdy. Oh my god. It's actually really good quality. Oh my god. It's also very thick and the cut are very smooth as well. Oh my god. Anyway, my initial thought about the quality of the puzzle. They are really really good quality. The printing, look at that. The printing is so good, so clear. And it's thick as well and very the cut is very smooth and I I didn't see any um, puzzle pieces that are starting to peel off or are still connected together though, so that's really great um, anyway I'm just going to sort out all of these puzzle pieces and look for the rectangular ones because they are, again they are not included in the puzzle so we can begin doing the puzzle here are the puzzle pieces again guys uh, I just finished sorting them out here are the edges and there are the white ones, the yellow ones, and then the black ones. And here are the rectangular pieces, which are not included according to the, according in the box. These pieces are not included, so yes. And also there is a noticeable amount of puzzle dust, which is, um, but that's okay. We can just swipe them off. Anyway, I'm just going to start doing this one because I am now very excited to find out what is the mystery or how to escape from this spell or whatever. So yeah, let's just begin doing this one.
And so I just finished doing the puzzle, but before we try to solve the mystery, I just want to say that this Jigsaw Puzzle brand to really have a premium quality. There's no question about it. They have the cardboard is thick, it's rigid, it's sturdy, and they have a very clear printing as well. But I just have to say that, that there are just too many puzzle dust in this puzzle. Also, I just wish that they have more unique puzzle shapes because the puzzles are just very identical with each other, which makes it very hard to assemble the puzzle, especially the edges because the edges have very dark color. It's actually really black and, you know, I just have to try. There are just a lot of pieces that fit together that are not supposed to fit together. So that was really hard. Also, as I have mentioned, there are like numerical markings in the edges which I think is supposed to help you. In my case though, I haven't used it. I just tried to make a very small and clear details which I'm thankful for the printing because you can actually see the small details to solve the edges. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on this specific Jigsaw Puzzle brand and now let's just try to solve the mystery in order for us to escape this Jigsaw Puzzle. So our mission is to find the cursed magic relic in order for us to break the spell. The only clue in my mind is that the magic relic actually came from Guatemala, which is in Central America. So yes, let's just find anything, any clue that will lead us to, I don't know, maybe a magic relic and then Guatemala. I think the books has something to do with it because the books has a number and then the magic, the artifacts has number on them. So let's just try to find the clues and try to solve the mystery. Again guys, here is our finished puzzle and here are the markings, the numerical markings that I was talking about earlier. So most of the edges have these markings. Anyway, the first thing that I've noticed is that this one of the eggs have already been hatched, which in the box there's four eggs and then here there are only three eggs now, one egg has been hatched. And Here's the dragon. Also, there are some highlighted letterings here, which which are not highlighted here. So I think, I think the cursed magic relic that we are going to look for must be related on this, I don't know, on these eggs and these markings. Anyway, I think the magic relic must be one of these artifacts. As you can see, they have numerical tags. A two four here three another eight so I think it must be one of the, these artifacts. Hello friends, so I still don't have any idea what the cursed magic relic is. I think it is the fossils that have the tag two four eight. I don't know why, it's just my wild guess. I mean what else could you, you know take from a temple dragon temple? I don't know really like it is just my wild guess so let's just I'm just going to open this envelope that contains the solution of this puzzle for us to no, for us to know what is the solution and what is the artifact is cursed magic relic I mean cursed magic relic not artifact okay What? <laughs> it has something like this, like a set of numbers, 63. What? You have disabled the relic, the dragon will disappear soon. I don't get it. Wait. Okay, let's try to do this, but I don't get it. Then anyway, let's just try to put this together. I don't know. Again guys, here is the solution. I don't know how they come up with these numbers. I don't know. But apparently we have to, as I've said earlier, the edges have numerical markings. So we have to get the edges that have these numerical markings. And then let's put it like this. I don't know. Can someone please explain to me why do they come up with this? What does this mean? Where do they get these numbers? Because I don't know. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. And 
that's it guys um here are the edges i don't understand the solution so i'm just going to look it up in the internet if you know please comment down below if you know the explanation of this solution i still don't know where they come up with this numbers anyway if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up also comment down below again comment down below the explanation of the solution and make sure to subscribe if you haven't that's it for today thank you for watching see you next tuesday bye